What's going on YouTube? Today I've had a request to show you how to use a tab bar navigation in Xcode 5. So to get started what you'll need to do is start up Xcode and create a new project. And you can do this in two different ways. You can go to a single view application and make a tab bar navigation or you can do it from tab application. So what I'll do first is I'll show you how to do it in a single view application. So we'll call this single tab bar and just send it to my desktop. So we'll go to our main storyboard here and what you want to do is just get rid of this view controller and down here in your objects what you need to do is just grab a tab bar controller and drop that there. So what you'll see here is that you have two view controllers one labelled item 1 and one labelled item 2 and here on your tab bar controller this is uh, where you see the tab bar actually in place with the two different icons so if you want more than just two tab uh, two view controllers connected you can just drag a few more here uh, we'll put four on so right uh, right click and drag or command no control drag from the tab bar controller to the view controller and click on view controllers underneath relationship siege and then do the same for this one so now what you'll see is that here in the tab bar controller we have two more items and just so we can identify them I'll rename them to three and this one to four and what I'll do is I'll put a label on each one so we have on this one we'll just call this four and on this one it will be three one and two so here you can see all your view controllers that are connected to your tab bar controller so if you just make it a little bit more neater there we go so if we start up the simulator you'll be able to see that we'll have a, all of these connected to the tab bar and you'll be able to click and go to each one so we have item 1, item 2, item 3, item 4 so you can have whatever you want on these you have like buttons to go to off view controllers and all that and what you can do is have one more view controller on here so you can have up to five view controllers and have the icons displayed at the bottom. So same relationship siege and then on this we'll put a label saying five because it's the fifth view controller. Five and just rename it to five as well. So now we have five view controllers and that's the limit that you can actually have down the bottom here when you actually display the app so you can see five here so all these different view controllers but what happens uh, when you put another view controller and connect it is on the actual tab bar controller you'll see that it comes up with six icons but that's not what happens on the actual app so let me just put another label on this one call this 6 just so we can identify it what happens on the app is that you then have you still have 5 tab bar icons down the bottom but only 4 will be for the different view controllers and you'll have this extra one that says more and you click on more and you have 5 and 6 and it's displayed in a column and drag the icons to organise all that so that's how you use it in a single view application. So now if we just close this down, and 
and start up another project in Xcode. And this time we'll make it a tabbed application. And we'll call this tabbed app. Click next and create. So go to the storyboard, but what you'll see here is instead of on the single view application where we had just a view controller in the middle, you actually start with the tab bar controller and you have a bit of, a bit more, a uh, couple of features on each view controller. And it works the same, you can have um, up to five displayed on the uh, tab bar controller. So connect them up. Works the exact same, and if you have more than five, it does. Uh, it adds another another uh, icon down the bottom, which says more. So we just do that, and view controller. So I haven't named them because I'm just showing you briefly, but it works the exact same as the one in the single view application. And you can rename things underneath here. So here you go. You have more go to all the different view controllers just the exact same and if you want to know how to make your own custom tab bar icon so you can see here that this one's a circle you can actually make your own ones sort of pixel art and I've got a video on how to do that so I'll put the video up here on an annotation now and for mobile viewers I'll put the link in the description so thanks for watching and I hope this helped and uh, please rate the video if it did if you did find it helpful so thanks